hello everyone welcome back to my channel i pray that you're all doing well welcome back to my returning subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers i appreciate you guys so much it's so nice having you here and uh yeah so let's get into today's video so today i want to talk about uh, a lesson that i learned while working on a paper because i'm currently in school and uh, so that means you know homework writing papers and all of that good stuff so um we were given this assignment and we had to write a paper that was five to seven pages long and so i <laughs> ended up writing 12 pages and um yeah so then i had to try to work on bringing it down and i was able to bring it down to 10 pages and then i was trying and it just wasn't working because it's like I, there's all of this information that i've researched that i've put in and i think it's valuable information and i think you know it helps with the flow of my paper i don't want to get rid of it what do i do and so i messaged my professor and i asked him um how many pages can i go over because right now i'm at 10 pages so he said ideally you know you should stay within the five to seven page count but um if you must then you know you could go one or two pages over that's fine however we are trying to build you know this competence in you guys where you're able to express information in a concise and precise way and so that challenged me to want to work harder, you know, to bring down my, my page, uh, to bring down the, the, the number of pages. And so began, you know, that painstaking process. Uh, well, I continued, right, with the painstaking process of trying to reduce the number of pages. And it was frustrating. It was, you know, time consuming. It was not easy but i kept at it and i was able to bring it down to eight pages and um so my paper was so much better than it was when it was 12 pages long so much better a lot of information that i thought you know i couldn't do without that i thought you know was imperative to the understanding of the paper i found that I didn't miss that information. I found that, you know, my paper actually flowed so much better, um, trimmed down. And I got a really good grade on that paper. And I don't think I would have gotten that good of a grade had I stayed, you know, uh, with the 12 pages or with the 10 pages, which by the way would have meant that I, you know, I, I was going, I wasn't following the rules, right? The instructions that had been uh, given. And so that got me thinking um, in terms of our relationship with God. Um, we have limits, let's be honest. You know, there are limits that um, have, that we as Christians have and that we should have. And that and those limits come from the word of God because God wants us to live a certain way. He wants our lives to be a certain way. And so it is a painstaking process. It is a long process of, you know, getting sanctified, of, you know, getting trimmed down, of getting, you know, um, molded into the image of Christ, into the image of who God wants us to be. And so when we are in that process, you know, we might complain, we might, you know, think about the fact that it is so difficult. You know, why do I have to walk the narrow path? Why can't I say whatever I want to say. Why can't I do whatever I want to do? I just don't want to have a limit. I don't want to have, you know, a, a page limit. I just want to write and write and go where I want to go and do what I want to do and say what I want to say. But no, that is not what God wants us to do. That is not how God wants us to behave. He wants us to have limits. He, that's why, you know, the Bible talks about the about the the narrow path that we have to take and so the instructions are clear 
the instructions are clear we can't be like the world we can't live like the world we can't think like the world we can't talk like the world just like i had limits you know with my paper and i went above those limits and then i had to you know start working on the process of you know trimming things down which was not easy so when you were in the process of getting sanctified it is it is not an easy process however when we come out at the you know at the on the other side we realize wow we're so much better the things that we thought we needed the things that we thought we could not live without we're able to live without those things and you know we're actually living a much better life than we thought we would have lived we're actually so much better the things that we thought were serving us were, 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 were instead confusing us and, you know, causing us to be all over the place. But now we are a more refined version of ourselves. And that is why we have these limits, which sometimes, you know, feel uncomfortable, but they are a necessity. Now, the other thing is that I asked my professor, the other lesson that I learned, I asked my professor how many pages can I go over? I knew the number of pages. I knew the limits that we had, but I, I asked him, how much can I go over? We know what the Bible says. We know what we're supposed to do. But then we ask ourselves, how much sin can I get away with? How much sin can I get away with? How many white lies can I tell? I mean, they're just white lies, right? They're not really lies. How much can I look like the world while still being a Christian? How worldly can I be while still being a Christian? How much can I get away with and still be a Christian? How much can I go over? And so we find ourselves trying to, you know, reinterpret the Bible with our skewed uh, thinking because we want it to bend to us. We want the Bible to satisfy our lifestyles. We want to interpret the Bible in a way that would benefit us as opposed to us trying to make sure that we're living a life that is in submission to God, in submission to his word. So the, Bible's, uh, the Bible tells us in Isaiah 64, 8, but now, O oh Lord, you are our father, we are the clay and you are potter and all we are the work of your hand. God is the potter. We are the clay. It is not the other way around. His hands are the ones guiding us, shaping us, molding us. Just like with the paper that I had to write, the page count, the page limit, you know, were you know, like helping to guide how I had to write my paper. So because I had to follow that word limit, I had to work on removing whatever excesses were there that were not serving that paper. So God's hands are around us, shaping us. And so we should make sure that we are not trying to go outside of those hands so that he will shape us into the image that he wants us to have, which is the image of Christ. So let's not try to please ourselves at the excess, at the at the at the expense of pleasing God. Let us not try to please ourselves at the expense of pleasing God. Let us try to please God, even if it is at the expense of pleasing ourselves, even if it is at our own expense. We are the clay, we are not the potter. The potter makes the rules. <laughs> the potter has the final image. The potter has the vision, not us. And so let us follow. Let us allow ourselves to be molded. It takes time. It's not always easy but it's worth it at the end of the day. All right? 
okay guys that's the end of my video i pray that it blessed you if it did please share like comment and uh, if you're new here please let me know where you're watching from let me know where you're from uh, i would like to you know get to know you guys uh, a bit better if you're comfortable sharing of course because i know people get shy you know about sharing uh commenting on videos which i completely understand but if you're comfortable you know please do share and i'd love to you know read from you okay guys Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you in my next video, God willing. All right.